Ed, you, you think about the fact of how successful he's been. That That is a very big thing to bring up as he walks out here on the stage. I mean, he's one of those players that constantly evolve. I mean, even if he wasn't as active or wasn't as prominent in the rankings early on, he's always been one of those people you look at to see, hey, how is Xiao Hai doing in this version? How is Xiao Hai doing with this character? And is he still consistent? Here you see him in the CEO top eight looking pretty consistent. Yeah, I'll say. And to get into this spot, Xiao Hai had to beat Fudo, one of the most consistent. CJ Truth, one of the best in the U.S. and from mm -hmm. Florida as well. That's cool. Uh, Sien, it was well, still in top eight. Everybody knows and who Momo she is. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so I mean, that's quite a list. Yeah. CEO is no slouch. But of course, Phenom. This, the beard that this little guy has is crazy. He's only like 18 and a half. But this beard is crazy. And he is going for the crowd pleasing right now. My dude is actually rocking the Street Fighter 4 indestructible <laughs> intro. He knows what he's doing. Look at that hair, though. That's what I'm talking about. It's gorgeous. Oh, did he trim the beard up? <laughs> Look at that young man. He's looking a little trimmer, but the hair is fantastic. That's mad puffy right there. I'm pretty sure Sejam is jealous somewhere. Oh, God. Sejam is... can't keep up with that. <laughs> he doesn't have the jeans. Oh, oh my God. Everybody gets got by the new. <laughs> no. I've seen him do it at E-League. How haven't you learned? That's why he's the one of the best. That's how you know. Every event, they've seen it live, and they still stick their hands out. Who in here is blocking that mix-up? <laughs> Esau, you better not put your hand. All right. <laughs> I don't even know if he can hear me, but I felt like no. he'd take advantage. So, look, Phenom also had a fantastic run to get here. Kaba, he beat Punko. Oh, wow. Punko also, Chris T also, and Alex Myers. I mean, all, like, really ridiculous players, especially in the world of Street Fighter V. This year, he got 17th at Combo Breaker, 13th at Stunfest, 25th at NCR, 17th at the final round. It hasn't been his year, to be honest. It hasn't been the way that it's been in the past. He's still 21st overall in CPT points, but... For Xiao Hai, you know where he is in the Capcom Pro Tour standings? I'm listening. He is currently 90th place. He's Damn. tied for 90th place Ow. with 10 points. Ow. This is somebody, like I said, he just hasn't had, he hasn't been traveling as much. When he has been traveling, it hasn't been as successful right. as in the past. 25th at Combo Breaker, for example. 13th at Tiger Uppercut. 33rd at Evo Japan. But here he is in top eight at I mean, CEO. I mean, he's back. He's definitely back. Uh, we, we talked about. Zhao Hai has always been one of those players that you look for. I mean, if he's popping up on anybody's radar, if he's in your pool, you know it because oh, you're yeah. probably going to have to practice for him. That's just how it works. I mean, Phenom, you're right, did not have, does not have the best results this year, but he has been playing in that Gfinity Series League where they do the team format, and his team took first place. That's how good he is, and he plays with some of the best players in the EU region, and it's for good cause that my boy Phenom is here. I mean, we saw him play on E-League last week. He came second last year with those results. That's right. But even still, he's been building up, and that's what's got him here in this CEO top eight here for Street Fighter V. All right, as these guys get set up. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see a Nikali versus Cammy. And when I tell you that uh, Phenom has one of the most disrespectful Nikalis ever, man, this little dude is rude. <laughs> it don't even make sense. Little dude. I only say that because he's younger. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, a younger. he's a younger fella. Oh, these are... Compared to us, both younger fellas. Yes. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. And I feel like that's what's going to be uh, one of the things we're going to look at here. Um, Zhao Hai likes to be pretty active. He's really good on controlling space. However, I feel like Phenom, he's that kind of player where he's going to be like, no, I'm not going to allow you to do that. I have the buttons. I have Nikali. And if this uh, Trigger 1 works out the way I want it to, you're going to be a lot more scared to hit buttons no matter what character you are. Especially with a character like Cammy, who, you know, she's just like a baby doll, man. She just bursts into pieces <laughs> if she gets hit. They played a few times last year. Phenom took more over Xiao Hai than the opposite. It was two to one in overall sets for him. The lone representative of Europe. In fact, one of two not from East Asia oh, here in wow. this top eight. Everybody's fighting back. We have to rise up, man. This is hard, man. It's, we're trying to get each, each time we get any kind of update where we have to change up the game plan, I, I feel like that kind of shifts a lot of things when it comes to Street Fighter V standings. And it's really scary, however, you always have some of those front runners, some of those players. And I will say, Phenom is one of those guys. No matter what, you have to be careful for him. All right, oh, here. yeah. All right, game two, ladies and gentlemen. Top eight. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. I want to hear you guys out there. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. Just want to make sure you guys still awake. Let's get, it's about to get intense. Shao Hai versus Phenom to make winner's finals against Fujimura. Now, I can tell you right now, Phenom has uh, is currently readjusted his neutral game. He has a lot of setups 
that lets you reset Woo. right in that range for standing hard kick with a bunch of crush counters. Oh, big chance. Ooh, big jump in. Xiao Hai doesn't care about any of that. Dashes up. I like the check right there with the crouch jab. Size more on the chase. Yeah, nice call out there. Ready for the anti air with Xiao Hai. And that's classic Xiao Hai. If he's on that stuff, if he's on reactions like he has been so far right now, he's going to be hard to beat. Oh, crush counter caught you swinging, getting up first round instantly to Xiao Hai. One of the big reputations Xiao Hai has built for himself is as some of the best reactions in the business. And we saw two proper confirms. We saw a couple of blocked non-special uh, non cancel confirms. We saw the anti-air in reaction. He's looking good so far. I like the tick throw dash up again. And, and that's what I was talking about. You see how Xiao Hai just dashed up the minute he saw something with? He wants to stay out of range of that size. Well, he does not want to Ooh. keep getting knocked down. And another successful jump in. Typically, we talk about Phenom being the guy with the great jumps. But now, we're looking at Xiao Hai gets the okay. cross up. You were just talking about the jump. Oh, you trigger two. Very dangerous. Oh, backs up a little bit. Hits him with the shimmy. Spits at him. That's going to be round two. Phenom making a statement. Ends that round with two EX bars. Xiao Hai with full CEA. Phenom's never afraid to pressure like that. He's always somebody who's willing to do it. Willing to make the gambles, and he's off and right. Wow! Xiao Hai with another fantastic jump over the Seismo. And I know for a, I know for a fact Phenom is second-guessing that. He's like, I need to be careful with these Seismos, but... Yeah, right now he looks like he's caged. Mm -hmm. He's Maybe he's waiting for the jump. No, okay, it was just the button. He found it. Xiao Hai out of there. Resets it. Oh, nice! Full CA conversion here on a clean jump in. Not gonna kill, but the situation's looking better for Xiao Hai. Trying to get out of there. Now Phenom. Even though he's way down in life, all the resources he needs to make a huge comeback. No need to make it happen immediately either. Oh, no oh. cancel, but it ends up working out. And you see there that the, I was talking about the disrespect, right? That's playing a major role right now because Xiao Hai understands that. So he's putting buttons in that neutral range where Phenom wants to operate. He's not letting him. I mean, we only saw one or two standing roundhouses there, and that's typically a go-to tool for Phenom, and he's not letting it happen. Phenom used that twice at the very, very first start of the round, of the first uh, round there. But then, yeah, after you saw how Xiao Hai was playing, he wasn't bringing it out at all. It, it felt like he was really caged in the corner and something's got to wake up from him. Okay, he's back there. The, the space that he's trying to control right out. Oh, again, third time! So good. The minute he gets to the tip of that crouching medium kick range, he jumps back in. And it's worked out so many times. Xiao Hai's ready for the anti He's ready for the reactions on the ground. Look at this! Oh, the travel size shimmy. Proper enough ounces, you can carry that on. That's not bad. That's not bad. I need to give me two of those. Firing on all cylinders right now. It's combat though you shout high. Getting over all the little roadblocks in his way. Crouch and medium punch. Look at this. And look, just like I said, again? the minute he got to the end of that range, he jumped. Crouch and medium kick comes out, then he jumps again. Stand Ooh. medium kick this time. Okay, all bust right. out. Don't let him keep doing that to you. No, yeah, phenom has got to get his head back in the game. It's tough right now, though. The way that Xiao is playing is amazing. Look at the range he's playing in. He's making sure that he's able to attest everything. No size modes. That means it's taking a lot longer for Phenom to get that B trigger. He just got it now, though. Here we go. Out of the corner at least. Oh, get Xiao Hai's willing to do it. Has to be really careful, though. He has been so far. He's been great. At Activation. Right, this time, that standing hard punch goes for the stomp on the follow-up. Phenom playing it slowly. No, he's in there now. Okay. Okay, Sizemo this time again. Fierce! I, I feel like there have been some errors from Phenom. We saw a command grab in the neutral arrow that got punished. He was whiffing the Fierce there in a very strange timing. I don't know. Mm. Like I said, man, you can tell. Every time we see crouching medium kick, standing medium kick in the last case, it was a jump right after it. Sometimes it was EX dive kick just to see if he was paying attention. And a lot of times, Sizemo was the reaction we got from Phenom. The standing medium kick range again. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you're looking for him. Cammy's oh. walking in. Okay, here it is, Fino. Using stubbier buttons this time around. That's actually pretty smart. That way no, he does walk in. Have we seen Phenom? I guess one anti-air so far. Oh, gets the sweep this time. Dashes up, goes for a throw. He wants that positioning in the corner. First time he'll be there, yes. Real estate on this side. That's one dunk. Oh, normal okay. throw, and that's going to take it. Getting some control now. Fino gets this first round in game three. And he's only had the corner control a couple of times in the set. Oh, great reaction there. Mm -hmm. Context he clues doing the trick. Oh, gets it this the time. Air, okay. Double roundhouse, standing medium punch, the tail end of it. Fiend, I'm really trying to play up this wall style at the moment. And there's that jump again, right at the tail end of the crouching medium kick range. Oh, crush count. Gets the target activate. 
Where? Reset. Oh, with the side switch on the hard kick. Another DP. You can't jump in on me. I know you're feeling good. Not that good, though. Dash up, crouching strong. Got Activate. See a dragger in the dirt. Uh, put something hot on you. Talk about that range you were talking about. Phenom was playing much better at about that same spot. I still really like Shao Hai's play there. He's still jumping really they well, still reacting weird. really well, putting up buttons into Phenom's face. But we definitely saw more in the way of active wall, sort of offensive wall, I would almost call it, from Phenom. Yeah, you see what a, another thing that changed up between Phenom, he started using a little stubbier buttons. He realized that that standing hard kick was the range that he wanted to operate at, saw a lot of jumps coming from it, so he started switching to the stubbier buttons. That standing medium punch, one of the better tools. Standing hard punch, another one of those, and even crouching hard punch in some instances. Sure. There it is. Oh, there is that crouching hard punch, like I just oh, said. Oh, boy, not stunned. Next one, though. And she's out of there. He wanted that to hit. That would have been cool. Finally, Ooh. an anti-air from Phenom, and it was offensive, too. Look at that. That crouching hard punch once again. And look at look at what it's gotten him so far. Up back tech just to make sure it stops that pressure from Cammy. Uh-oh, there's a throw. You don't want to be here. Try to just get out of there, Phenom. Still caught. Just the throw. Oh, wanted to crush nothing. That was the best situation that could have happened. Oh, okay. I, I love that V reversal from Phenom because he recognized that if he does it right there, he has advantage. You, and you have even, to take even if that. you're getting your butt kicked right then, just turn it around in an instant. You have to answer. You have to answer back for that. You're 100 percent right because you don't want to be in that position from Cammy. If then another knockdown would have came, trying to be reversal there would have been a lot harder. Ex, spin that cash. No cheap dates here, bro. Great reaction right there by Shao Hai, keeping his eye on things. Oh, first time, no good anti air right there. Yeah, that walk speed helping out in that instance right there. Just walks a little further out of that range. Let Shao Hai keep that advantage. Shaha had been doing such a good job at knowing when Phenom was going to jump. Not just anti airing but knowing that it was going to come. That time he did not. Oh. No, and an error there as well! Oh, answers back with the EX once again. Shaha letting Phenom know. He's like, nah, man, I can't let you keep doing this. And no anti air that time. There's the activation on the hit. Not going to spend the rest of it. Uh -huh. Wake up EX DP again from Phenom. Trying to tie it up here is Phenom. There's the trigger activation. Great defense and the challenge. Look at that damage up there on the oh. bar for throw. And we have tied the set 2-2. Phenom with some ridiculous adjustments. Great awareness by him, knowing what he needed to do and then actually executing it. Those are two different things. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It takes a lot. Uh, people don't understand the adjustments it takes to do that in between rounds, in between matches. While you're looking at the rematch of character select screen, that's a hard task to go down to in a short amount of time. Oh, close Seismo this time. Maybe looking for a drill out of the air. A lot of movement. Okay, Zhao Hai recognizes it too. Shuts it down. And now you see Zhao Hai kind of second guessing, dashing in. This time goes in, goes for the jab, tick throw. That was such a sick reaction to stand around. Dash forward. Love it. Yeah, doing that recovery, dashing up and closing that space. He's not going to throw another Seismo, you know. Has to challenge with a closer button. He might not be quick enough. Here's Zhao Hai now. Sees it. Close to the ceiling, and he could have. Wow. Sticks in the fierce right afterward, and now it's match point. Shao Hai. Uh oh, this isn't good. Set point. point. Keeping it very close, though. We've already seen Phenom's ability to come back on the ropes. Okay. Oh, Block and then do it. Love I can do it too. Back to the middle of the screen. And wow. What? Standing oh medium kick. God. Okay, to the target. No. I see you. All right. That was fun as. Oh. He was so confident when he did it. Oh, just swiping, swinging. Stay out of here, little girl. Stay out of the cage. Out of the air. Ah, oh. Phenom maintaining corner. Okay, Shao Hai, same idea. Wakes up, gets out of the corner. There's a throw. Life still in favor of Phenom. Big jump, there's the block. Oh, Super. CA, is this going to kill? Is this going to kill? Oh, no. She gets the pressure. Oh, my again. God, he did it again. Again. He's so disrespectful. There's the activation. Oh. Stop, he tried to DP. Why would you do that? Final round of the set, ladies and gentlemen. This dude, Phenom. Oh, big jump Whoa. in with the hard kick. Just a jump in attack. I like the neutral jump once again. I like the chase with the jump. And I love that he's willing to continue doing the jumps. There have been so many anti air DPs, he's not giving up on it. Mm -hmm. All right, gets the tail in. That standing medium punch confirmed. He's not taking the bait on the shimmy. Answers back with that standing Here hard is. kick. Great anti air. Shao I still with the life lead, though, and he backs off just a bit. Threatening at any time the approach, but also looking for the anti-air. Nothing comes. Wow, answers back after that, that crouching medium kick with standing hard kick. Jump I have to respect it in the jump. 
He saw the Seismo. Phenom in trouble here. Oh, stop the dash, oh. and that will be that. Zhao Han moves on against Phenom. Two to three. The highest level of play right there. So many little adaptations in that set. Whiff punishers were on point from both of them. I'm still thinking about that Nikali target combo. I uh, just punish. walked up like, oh, you're going to swing here? Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Seismo to finish it off. Dash up, takes that ground. You Man. know, that's my favorite thing in the game. I don't care about flashy combos. It's not what I'm interested in. I like that stuff. Really? Yeah. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Come on. I'm one of those guys that likes to dash through, dash up right after recovery just so I can hit you. So I definitely respect that. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely a jerk. <laughs> no, I